Man, I love some Q. Absolutely. How do you like your Q? I like it slow cooked. Oh yeah? Yeah, pork shoulder, cook it at 225 and then shred it, toss it with that good NC vinegar sauce. Oh nice. Yeah. But do you like some chicken Q? Oh, love that chicken Q, the whole leg just loaded with BBQ sauce that caramelizes and, and makes you want to jump in the sky and shout, I have never felt more alive. <laughs> I hear that. And we also got... The Q ribs. Oh. So tender. Oh, they melt is, in your mouth. That is good Q. Oh, you know another kind of Q I love? Oh, a Q brisket? Love a good brisket mm -hmm. Q. There are so many ways to Q. Yep, direct heat. Charcoal. Smoking. Mm -hmm. Gas. Mm -hmm. yep. Wood. The, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Hey, what kind of Q do you have today? Oh. <clears throat> the original Q. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know? Not quite ready yet. Here we go. Ooh. I love Q. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm John and welcome to the So and So Show. Well John, it's April. Yes, spring is in the air. <laughs> oh, uh, and so is the pollen. Yep, so we're staying indoors and trying something new. Yes, introducing... Casserole Chaos. Welcome to Casserole Chaos. I'm your host, Sally Breadcrumbs, author of numerous best-selling casserole cookbooks, including You Had Me at 9 by 13 and Will It Casserole? We're live today from the set of the so-and-so show. John and Brandon have each been given a mystery basket that contains the ingredients they must use to create a casserole. They also have access to our spice rack. And they start cooking now! John and Brandon have to make a casserole with the following ingredients. Chicken, plantain chips, rice, blueberries, frozen green peas, cream of mushroom soup, and circus peanuts. Open up, can! Come on! May I? <laughs> sure, Sally, give it a shot. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> and what are we making here? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm making a green pea gusher explosion casserole. A green pea gusher... Gusher explosion. Yeah, I wanted to put blueberries into my casserole, except when you take a bite of a big juicy blueberry, you're actually getting a mushy green pea. Fascinating choice. Chicken isn't cooking. Turn the heat way up. Come on, chicken! I don't know what John is doing, but that does not look promising. When it melts, it'll be like a, I don't know, a glaze. Yeah, yeah, this, this, uh, this is these plantain chips. People don't know what they are. I've run out of circus peanuts, so I'm just going to use the bag. Ah. This is chaos! And I love it. And now, I just have to put it in the oven. Come on, cook, cook! 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 Okay, there's no time. Okay. I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! John, what do we have here? Well, it's a crispy chicken and crispy rice casserole. And what makes it crispy? Well, the chicken and the rice are both crispy. Well, huh. okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really gotta you jab it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. 
the chicken is... Yes, uh, yes, it was taking too long to cook, so I just turned the heat up really high to speed up the process. Mm. And, and the rice. Yeah, it was taking forever to boil. Mm, yeah, rice takes time. It takes patience. But, yeah, but I had to hurry. Why? I never gave you a time limit. Are you kidding me? All right. Brandon, ah. this looks amazing. Ah. Oh, oh, thank you. Yes. All right. Here we go. Just oh, I can't. Get it on. Brandon. Yes. How long did you cook this chicken for? Uh, two minutes. Uh. I should have been more patient. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen, how's it going? Great. How's it going with you? Uh, we're a little hungry. Yeah. Uh, we tried to make something earlier, but got a little impatient. Yeah. Patience is important in lots of areas in life. In fact, it's what our Bible story is about today. Well, take it away. Our Bible story today is just one verse from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is a book in the Old Testament full of wisdom on how we can live our life. Most of Proverbs was written by King Solomon, known for being one of the wisest people who ever lived. In Proverbs 14.29, Solomon wrote, Anyone who is patient has great understanding, but anyone who gets angry quickly shows how foolish they are. We have lots of opportunities in life to show patience. And here to help me demonstrate are our friends, Becky and Bethilda. Becky really wants to go to the movies, but her little brother is taking longer than she'd like. Let's see how Becky reacts. Ezra, come on! <sighs> he always takes so long. He's gonna make us late. And we're going to miss the previews! <sighs> Duh! Ah, I need to be patient. I need to be patient. I took longer when I was younger, too, so... Hey, Ezra. Do you need help putting your shoes on? Nice, Becky. Now, let's see how Bathilda handles her little brother taking longer than she would like to get ready. Elliot! Why are you taking so long? Ugh. Dad! Tell Elliot to hurry up! Uh, uh, hurry up! You're being so slow! I'd rather have a tortoise for a brother! <laughs> oh, great. Now you're crying. <laughs> yeah, Dad. I can't go to the movies anymore? Yikes, Bethilda did not handle that well. Sometimes waiting on little brothers or sisters can be hard, but when we show patience, it can really help the situation. When we get angry or frustrated, it only can make things worse. Let's take a look at another example. I'm never going to be able to learn it. No. No. Learning anything new, it, it takes time. It takes time. So I just, I just need to stick with it and be patient with myself. Okay. <laughs> Got this. Okay. Now, let's see how Bathilda handles learning something difficult. <sighs> this makes no sense. I'll never learn this. Um, 
Um, that was not patient and not okay. Let's see how things turned out by the end of the year. And Bethilda? <laughs> Learning something can be hard, and it not only takes persistence to learn, it also takes patience. And it may take you longer to learn things than others, and that is A-OK. -okay. If you're patient with yourself, then you'll gain understanding. All right. Let's look at one more thing. Oh, no one is open. Do I have to do everything myself? It's not my fault, coach. No one is open. You be patient. You're taking me out of the game? This is ridiculous! Whoa! Bethilda was not patient at all, which led her to be disrespectful to her coach. And that's never okay. Many times there will be consequences when we let our temper take over. But let's see if Becky handled it any better. Uh, well, nobody's really open. I could shoot it, but it's not a good shot. Mm. Oh! Okay. Okay, just be patient. Be patient. Oh, I'm open! Ah! All right, let's go, team! Let's go. Way to go, Becky! You see, Becky was patient and waited to have a good shot instead of getting all angry about how things were going. Let's take a look at the verse one more time. It says, anyone who is patient has great understanding, but anyone who gets angry quickly shows how foolish they are. There are lots of times, you guys, in life where we're gonna have to wait. Sometimes it's a few minutes. Sometimes it's a few weeks. Sometimes it's a few months. But if we choose to be patient, we'll gain understanding. If we get angry or frustrated when we should be patient, it's not good for us, or for those around us. So choose to be patient even when waiting is hard. And remember, you can always ask God for patience. It's one of the best things to talk to God about. Back to you guys. Hey, thanks, Kellen. You know, I'll be honest with you, waiting is not easy for me. Oh, you know, same here. I mean, you and I have learned a lot about being patient over the years, but it can still be hard. That's true. Patience is something we'll always be learning. Hey, but at least I've waited long enough to eat your casserole. Oh, you still have that? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yummy! No! That chicken is raw! Oh, oh. It's still a... Reveal the question! Yeah, when is it hard to have patience? Uh, maybe when you're waiting for food to cook. Or when you're waiting for someone to finish up in the bathroom. True, it, it's sometimes hard to wait for others. Well, you know what? It's sometimes it's hard to have patience with ourselves. I know you'll have some amazing things to talk about. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. When is it hard to have patience? And we'll see you next time on The So and So Show. I need a, I need a, a wipe, I think, some of that chicken got in here. Oh. That was great. All right. You know, they say a watched pot never boils. I guess they're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah!